Hi everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. Let's take a look at some of the MIDI editing functions that we can make use of in Personas Studio One. Now I'm using Personas Studio One for the professional version, but this is going to be pretty much the same for any other versions you might be using out there. Now first of all, I've got some MIDI I had previously recorded, an instrument part, I double clicked on it to open it in the music editor. Down here in the music editor I get closer look at the MIDI data, all my MIDI data is going to be represented as these small blocks. Each of these blocks is a note on a keyboard. I can left click, drag to select these. And then after I have selected those, I can drag them up. I can change their location and their playback. So I can change their root note and play around with them a little bit in order to control how it is that they actually play back through the virtual instrument that I have assigned to this instrument track. Now dragging these notes around is all well and good and I can use that to fix some things, but what if I want to potentially fix some issues with my performance automatically? What if maybe my timing was off or something like that? And let's take a look at the quantize function for that. And that's noted by the Q button that you see right here. When I click on Q for quantize, quantize is going to allow me to snap these notes up against certain grid settings and based on certain note values that I set for these notes and in the quantize settings. So I have a number of quantize settings. You want to experiment with these a little bit. I can quantize to whole notes and half notes, quarter notes. I can also set the quantize value that I'm going to be using in the pull down menu right here, quantizing again to whole, half, quarter notes, eighths, sixteenths, thirty seconds, and etc. And I can change those quantize settings such as quantizing straight and other options for quantize. And after I have made my settings to quantize, I can click on the apply button. When I click on apply, all of my notes are going to move based on the quantize settings that I set. And then I can continue to experiment with that until I get the right timing. Now what this allows me to do is to snap these notes up against the grid. So if I know that I was just a little bit off on my performance, I could opt to quantize to a 16th note value, which is fairly finite, and then snap those notes up and fix some of those performance issues that I may have had. It's very easy to do with MIDI. Now I can also use tools in Studio One in the music editor. I can use use the paint tool to paint some new notes in if I want to. I can uh, drag to select notes that I don't like or maybe that I do want to keep. If I do want to keep them, I can drag and select them and I can draw them out. So maybe if I don't like something about them but I want to change, I can change that value a little bit. I can drag them. I can shrink them. I can move them all around on my grid. And everything's going to snap up to the grid because, again, I'm working on a grid right now, which allows me to make sure that everything stays relatively in time. It's also important to take a look at velocity. Now, velocity is how hard uh, something is going to be played. This is, think of playing a drum. If you play a drum very lightly or play a drum a little bit hard, that's the velocity of how hard you hit something. Now, MIDI has a velocity as well, and MIDI velocity can be uh, relatively hard, relatively soft, but you can make changes to that by putting your mouse over one of the velocity columns that you see, and by dragging and pulling that column up or down, you can adjust the velocity of a selected note. So if you click to select a note right there in your um, MIDI that you have previously recorded, then drag, you'll be able to change the velocity of that note. And so that will change just how hard that note happens to hit. And this is a great way to be able to humanize your recordings a little bit, make things not sound so stiff. If everything is playing back at the exact same velocity, you're going to lose a little bit of that human feel. Most MIDI controllers are going to let you get pretty good velocity. You can see I've got sort of some peaks and valleys here in my velocity, so not everything's going to sound the same, but it's good to experiment with velocity just a little bit to get things dialed in more the way that you would like it so that, again, you keep a little bit of that human feel. So there you have it, guys. That's just a quick look at some of the MIDI editing functions that are available to you in Persona Studio One. There's plenty more here, and so if you'd like to take it to the next step and learn more, please give us a call at OBDM PC Audio Labs. Sign up with us, work with a professional digital audio trainer just like myself, and learn Persona Studio One in real time, one on one. We'll help you attain your technology. That's what we do best here at OBDM PC Audio Labs. As always, guys, I'm Brian. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Stick.